Hello everyone, Plasmatism here. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a kind of a guide to Ascalonian catacombs. We're going to be doing path 1, and I've actually recorded this during the run itself, so it might not seem as scripted as usual. Anyway, enjoy. Okay, yeah, so we're doing a run of Ascalonian catacombs. This time, I'm doing I'm doing the run with a friend of mine who's on who's on Skype with me right now. Hello. Yeah, Blackheart Willen, I think it's pronounced. Blackheart Lin. It, sounds, it, it looks like an I, but it's an L actually, an uppercase. Oh, oh, L. Lin. Oh, yeah, nice, nice. Yeah, okay, Lin. Cool. Anyway, yeah, um, we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna try try and do a just just a normal run, but I'm gonna show you guys a few tricks, a few a few like I guess boosters. Um, there, there's a few tricks in this in this dungeon which actually help you like skip skip parts of the mobs and stuff um it's basically like way easier way faster stuff like that okay so yeah i'm gonna talk this mob yeah so we're not gonna or at least i'm not gonna click on the path one yet that's because like we can skip the burrow part and the burrow actually spawns right here just as soon as you select a path and yeah if you do this can, you can skip it. Simple as that. And the trick we're gonna do here is, like, the whole the whole team is gonna go envy. We're gonna go through all the way up to the, right the hall. And then I'm gonna As go solo in stealth flaming and uh, turn off the chains. And yeah, I'm gonna see if we <laughs> can make it work. Let's go. I'll guide you. To uh, this works kind of like with two thieves, which both apply invisibility. Yeah, but more on that uh, in a later video. Okay, so we're gonna attempt it here. And as you can see, we have 23 seconds of stealth. And yeah, just jump down here, make your way up, uh, up here. Skip the spiders, skip the the breeders or whatnot. And yeah, make your way just up here to the to the corner. Yeah, we're gonna reapply the stealth now with another. Their blast finisher, uh, dark AOE, dark combo. And now I'm gonna make my way up. To, uh, what the hey, fuck? what's this guy doing? I'm gonna make my way up. What the hell is this guy doing? Yeah, that's just what I was thinking. Okay, go, go, go. Chains are down. Go, 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 go. Yeah, just uh, jump in the water in this part. And yeah, that's it. We're through. Yeah, actually went better than we than I expected. Yeah, that was that was a good a good attempt. I, I'm not sure why the elementalist went on, but yeah, he's he wasn't supposed to do that. But I guess it's all good at the end since we made it. Yeah, all's well that ends well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, another trick right here is you don't really have to go like through the middle part, as you saw like my teammates do. Just go up here and yeah. You you can still get hit by the fire, but you're not gonna die. That's the important part. Okay, just gonna explain how this works. Yeah, the first the first burrow actually spawns here. Now this one you should probably try to take down as fast as possible because this burrow also spawns a breeder, and that's also a point I have to make because you really really have to take down breeders as fast as you can, and that is because they spawn a ton of other like mini mini mobs so yeah take uh, take this one down as fast as you can and make your way up here there's another burrow that spawns right there so yeah just basically take this one down as well and make your way back to the middle and also how this works is you usually take four people to destroy the burrows and one uh, stays here and defends defends this uh, npc because that's basically the uh that's basically the objective here you just have to you have to destroy all the burrows and d you can't let the npc die so yeah the third the third and fourth burrow will, will be the one there and the one right there but the thing is you you can't destroy this one in the middle because when you destroy this one another one spawns right there so basically you're going to be ending up with a lot of burrows so yeah first you destroy this one 
Um, and then this one here. Like I said, after destroying this one here, it's gonna trigger a new burrow, which is right here. And also, this burrow is kind of a bit harder, I guess, because it spawns three like bigger mobs, which can DPS you pretty hard. So yeah, be careful. Be careful on this part. And yeah, and after taking down that burrow, which is almost the last one, another one is gonna spawn right here in this corner here. And then after you take this one out, you're done. So yeah, just take all the burrows out, keep the NPC alive, and that's it. That's that's all there is to it. Well, actually, there's a few. Uh, there's some small print in here. Namely, you you should not stand in between a wall and a burrow when a burrow dies because you can end up getting stuck in a wall. <laughs> yeah, Blackheart has a few experiences with that, yeah. Uh, yeah, unpleasant ones. Also, note you can interrupt the breather summoning spell when he tries to uh, channel his uh, summoning of the uh, minions. If you use a, a uh, stun slash day spell, it will interrupt his summoning entirely. And you can avoid fighting the adds and just kill the breeder. Also, if you kill the, the breeder, all of the summons that the said breeder summoned will die immediately. So he's a very high priority target. Hmm. Yeah, that's, that's all true. That's all true. Um, yeah, that's basically why he's a high priority target. And yeah, the way to spot his animation when he's like making minions is like he's he's throwing up or something i don't know i mean i'm i'm going to show it later in slow motion so just so you guys can see it and yeah that's it that's all there is to it we're going to go ahead and do it now um it also helps if you change change your utility skills a bit i guess i mean it's just a faster way to take down the burrows. Oh, by the way, uh, the breeder doesn't always spawn. It's it's kind of random, but I think it helps if you take it down really fast. So, okay, yeah, this time it didn't spawn, so it should be pretty easy to do. So that's burrow number two. This is a a bigger a bigger mob, but it's not a breeder, so it's not that that much of a priority. So we're just gonna make our way back to the middle, help defend, and yeah. So yeah, remember, don't attack this one, but do attack that one. Uh, yeah, my team is just gonna defend a bit, help help the warrior defend the NPC. The rest of us gonna DPS the burrow. Also remember that uh, sometimes the burrows get kinda bugged, like if I stand still, it starts to, to miss. Doesn't always happen, but yeah, like that just like that it's just every every hit is a miss so basically it helps just to just to walk like left and right or just like in one direction okay so this one is a bit hard i'm gonna use my elite here just because there is a few mobs and my haste as well so i can so you can dps it really fast and we're almost done just one one more left the npc is at half hp so i'm gonna help a bit here since this mob is giving us a few problems looks like yeah, he was invulnerable for some reason. Okay. I'm gonna try to daze him and put blinding blinding smoke here so he misses his attack so the NPC doesn't die. And yeah, I think we're gonna be fine. I guess, I hope. <laughs> yeah, I sure hope so. Yeah, we managed to clear all of them really fast. Yeah, and one of ours is, I mean, actually two of us are trying to take down the burrow as well, so... Wow, this guy really likes me. He keeps switching on. Yeah. And I have a full glass cannon build, so I can't really afford to tank him at this at this time. Yeah. So that's it. We made it. Uh, Hodgins or Hodgins or whatever his name is pronounced I actually lived. We destroyed the burrows, and that's it. I'm gonna make my way make my way up here and grab the scepter, and yeah, this part of the dungeon is finished. Uh, yeah, keep in mind there's a waypoint here, so you can get back here if you die. So much closer than going th from the beginning. And also there's a chest that drops in this part. Fuck, misclicked. Okay, yeah, just make your way up here. Okay, so this part can also be skipped, but since we're doing path one, we can just take uh, this way. But well, actually, I'm gonna show you how to do it anyway. You can you can skip past these mobs all together just by like jumping over here and going around. And that works for like every path, 
like for path uh, for pass two and three you can just go there and yeah for path one we're gonna we're gonna make our way here okay so just rush through this part there's grubs that spawn right there but uh, you can just like ignore them most of the time I mean unless someone pulls them okay let's go okay so tr let's try the other way uh, the way that the NPC doesn't actually right here right here to the left to the left to the left <laughs> exactly uh, yeah so if you make your way through the left part the NPC shouldn't uh, engage the like the the things that spawn if you go to the right like I don't know it's just some fucking Anyway, this this part here like where you have to I'll collect like the pieces. scepter pieces Five should do it. and like over here the here the, the stealth also space. helps a lot. Go hunt some just, just cause obviously you don't get aggro. Probably there's north sometimes here, there's the a piece right here and you can actually pick it up, but it's gonna spawn mobs, so just pick it up and. Aren't we gonna use also. the invisibility? Yeah, we are. We are. Yeah, this is a like a great tactic for skipping skipping parts of. Mobs, I feel, I feel, a uh, really good trick. It can, it, it can actually be done by other classes as well. It's not only thief specific, but this this part is just done to skip skip these four mobs. It's not really that much of a problem, but um, if you just run through them, the NPC actually runs back to kill him. Since I don't know, I guess he has anger issues. But anyway, yeah, you can skip him just like that. Save some time. So you get a chest here, don't forget to loot that, and yeah. Yeah, we're doing this this run with a couple of friends, and as you've probably noticed, the, the thief, the other thief, Blackheart in this case, is only level 48. And the thing is that ac this, 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 uh, this dungeon run actually is pretty good for, for leveling, and for, for gold as well. Yes, you get a static 75% of your current level yeah. per run, so it is definitely better than any other form of solo grinding. Yes, yeah, so that's what we're, what we're basically doing here. We're getting gold, we're uh, helping him to level up, so if you have any lower level friends that need experience, stuff like that, just, just, just do this with them. And yeah, nice. path 1 AC speedrun is the way to go. I would say. And yeah, you don't you don't really need uh, that good of a gear to do this run. Like I I have like green armor, so that's really kind of bad to be honest. But yeah, it still works. Right, we have to kill those because they're in our way in the teleporter. Yeah, exactly. If you if you die and want to make it back through the waypoints. Yeah, um, you have to run past them. Yeah, so. you're gonna you're gonna have to run like. Just so better safe than sorry. Yeah, exactly. You, you can probably make it through the the other part, for, like the fire and all that stuff. You can make it through there, but these guys are kind of hard, and I'm not sure you lose aggro uh, going to the boss. So, yeah, it's the best way is just to kill him. Uh, we're gonna make up some room here so we can fight the boss. That's why we're killing these. Remember, you can interrupt their uh, channeling breather. Yeah. Like he just did, like right there, daze. He's gonna daze him again, probably. Yeah, right there. So, yeah, that's much easier. To, it's much easier to deal with them if if you do that. I'm also blinding them, like the AOE blind from pistol off and number five black powder, and dazing all that stuff. So yeah, it's pretty easy to be honest, once you know how to deal with them. The the hard part is. Uh, on path three of this dungeon, but still, it's basically the same story. Once you know how to deal with it, it's not that hard. We're gonna pull him up there a bit, just to not to try not to uh, aggro any other breeders. <laughs> yeah, the the NPC is kind of a brave, brave guy. In my range. Yeah, so you'd best dodge this uh, screen thing because it basically insta hits you. It hits like three times, I think, three three ticks, and 
if not the first two, the third one is gonna get you. It is possible to dodge them though, even though it's not very easy. Yeah. It's way harder because it's like three ticks. But yeah, keep in mind that if if he does like this, uh, this quick, this quick charge up, then it's gonna be the the damage one. If he does like this huge charge up, he's just gonna spawn some ads. That's basically the two things he does. Like the the last thing is. Um, he actually goes underground and then pops up back, pops back up and knocks you back, and nukes you quite a bit. <clears throat> yeah, since yeah, don't get hit by that, or try not to. Yeah, since we have two thieves, we sometimes do like we sometimes try to remove all his like buffs so he can be uh, stunned and stuff. Just save them for when he's spawning mobs, just like that. Just I just uh, daze them to to cancel it. But yeah, it obviously can be done every time since uh, he charges it up pretty quick. So yeah, he he goes in like that, and then he's gonna pop back up and do a major like knockback plus uh, plus burst. Uh, so yeah, try to avoid that if you can. Yeah, all in all, it's not too difficult. It's like an easier version of the Path 3 boss, which is a bit harder. Most of all, because his uh, his burst, like his his wave burst thing, is like way huger. Like the AOE is way bigger, and also the charge he does, like right there, is not an actual ad spawn, but just like flings rocks off the ceiling, which do a lot of damage. So yeah, that's basically why he's harder. What I'm trying to do here is just DPS him and spam number five on offhand pistol to to uh, to blind him, so he does way less DPS than normal. Just, yeah, he hit me there, but I'm gonna rally from the kill. So yeah, that's it. That's it. That's the run. <clears throat> so you get, I think, fifth. How much is it? Fifteen silver from the boss. Plus a few extra silvers from the loot you sell, and you get 75% of your current level in EXP. Well, either way, it's it's kind of decent farm. I mean, the whole dungeon doesn't really take you long. Uh, yeah, it actually really can be done long. way faster. We've we've deliberately made made it slower so that we could showcase all the uh, all the tricks and traps you have to bypass. Yeah. In in all seriousness, it can be done in in like 15 minutes, even sooner. So consider the bang per buck when farming gold. I mean, you could get much more than one gold per per hour at level at levels as soon as 35. So considering that, taking that into account, it's probably still a very good method of farming. Yeah, I'm not sure how it pairs up against like ore farming, which is probably better to be honest. But I mean, I don't know. I don't know, this yeah, this is decent, uh, like at least decent. Right, off we go then. I have to mention now that with the addition of getting quite quite large amounts of karma for your daily dungeon run runs with the introduction of the Halloween event, these runs are now even better. So uh, happy farming guys and I'll see you next time.